Here's part three of our conversation with Paul Carrick. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music. The Elton John, uh, uh, Candle in the Wind, 97. You were on there? Uh, not Candle in the Wind. They, they released a CD with Candle in the Wind and another song called Something in, Your, in the Way You Look Tonight. I'm right. playing on that one. Right. So a few people, you know, in, <laughs> hoping to make me sound a little more interesting, say he played on the biggest selling record of all time, which was Candle in the Wind. And Something in the Way You Look Tonight <laughs> was also on that CD. But uh, nevertheless, it was great to play on an Elton John track. Yeah, what was what was it like working with El Elton John? I, I I just talked to Bill Champlin, and Bill said he was surprised when he came in to work with Elton. He says I expected a huge ego, and it was going to be this and that. And he says I know, I, I, but he says it was really low key, and he was really respectful. But how was it? What was it like for you? Yeah, I was pretty starstruck, you know, and insecure. I mean, I used to do a lot of well, not a lot, but I would do session work in the. Um, after a split up because I saw that as a way of learning how to play that all the guys that I knew in London who were, who were good players, that's what they did. They did sessions, you know? Yeah. So, but I was really um, bluffing my way through a lot of these sessions. Cause you know, as I said, self-taught don't really know what I'm doing. So I would turn up to sessions like that a little bit scared. The new track, you know, when I first listened to it, I remember thinking, like, Jess, he just keeps putting these things out. Like, what the, what was the, what's the process like for you writing? And tell me about the new song. It's going down quite well. Even a couple of people who, who I know who know about music and they, I'm thinking, but it's kind of bog standard, isn't it? It's like, no, it's great, man. And I, I think it, it's that borderline thing of, you know, between cliche and just, a simple sentiment, a simple statement that connects, you know, it's a good vocal, helps to get through, you know, helps to carry a, a simple sentiment. Um, it's kind of true. You know, I wrote it thinking about somebody uh, who was, you know, struggling a little bit and um, we've all been locked down, which has made everything a bit sensitive. So, um, no, I'm really pleased, actually. I mean, as I say, it it's not uh, re reinventing the wheel. It's a, it's a simple thing. You think, well, I've heard those chords before and all that. But hopefully, well, if it connects, that's fantastic. That's that's all I can do because I'm not a I'm not a reader, you know. So I I I don't have a too many angles on stuff. I I got to kind of write simple stuff from the heart. I'm no intellectual, so. Um, if I can do that thing of a simple sentiment that connects, then that's great. We'll have more from Paul Carrick in the next three, four days. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. This is Rocky Stream Music. Mm -hmm.